Right, welcome to the lecture on video chat tools in which I'm just going to introduce you to some of the big characteristics, advantages and disadvantages of your three most popular everyday video chat tools. They're all accessible for free, you can download them online, it's very easy to start using these and you should get familiar with them as soon as you can. They are the absolute essentials in every online teacher's toolbox. Let's start with some guiding principles. Number one, make it easy for the student. And by this I mean you should make sure that your student knows exactly what is going to happen and if they have a preference of system that you honor their preference. It's not about what's easiest for you, it's about what's easiest for your student. So make sure your system is accessible, straightforward to use and that you are doing most of the work here so that it's easy for your student and they stick with you for longer and they are happier. Number two, always have a backup tool. Even if the connection has been perfect between you and your student for years, it can still happen that you have a bad day, you're ready to deliver an awesome lesson and it's just not coming together technologically. So sometimes you just have to switch from FaceTime to Skype or from Skype to Google Hangouts and so forth. So always make sure you've got a plan B, you've got your students' contact details on two video chat systems so that you can switch quickly when necessary. Number three, deliver a trial session as part of your five-step booking process. Deliver a trial session to ensure that the system works. And I cannot stress this enough. And as part of making a contract in which you are doing online lessons, your student has to know what to expect. If you simply can't get a video connection going and you're running phone lessons only. You cannot have them expecting to get a good video connection all of a sudden. So the trial session sets the parameters for your teaching relationship so that you both know what to expect. And number four, know your platform. And that just means you have to know what it can do, you have to know how to use it, and you have to have an idea of what the screen looks like for your student so that if they ever get stuck if they ever get stuck, if they're looking for a specific button, if they're looking for a specific piece of functionality or they're having a technological problem, you can do sort of the first technological support and you can resolve their problem quickly and help them through it. So you have to know your platform from your end and from the student's end. The first and probably best known technological solution for video chat is Skype. Skype is now owned by Microsoft. It is a company that lets you video chat, phone, landline, phone, mobile phones, use video messaging, instant messaging and screen sharing. It's very powerful. It's free. So you should definitely check it out. And your students will often say Skype when all they mean is video chat by any old company. Skype is available at skype.com. It works on the PC the Mac, iOS devices, which is any iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. If it's basically, if it's got a camera and a microphone, you're on the road. And it works on Android phones as well. You need a Microsoft account, so that's a Hotmail or at Microsoft.com email address, or a Skype account, or you can even log in with your Facebook account. Skype is really popular. It's got really good instant messaging and the screen sharing is easy. It's quick to set up. You don't need to download anything specific. It just works. So that's really, really great. And finally, the file transfer system in Skype is so easy. So it's really easy to just send your student an image, an MS Word file, a PDF. You can just kind of wire it over to them. It's really easy. The only downside of Skype is really that it's not always reliable. And that's why I think you should opt as your second option for Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is owned by Google. It's an instant messaging service that also allows you to do video calls. And it's available for free from google.com slash hangouts. It works on the same platforms as Skype, so it works on exactly the same devices. 
you need to make a very basic profile on Google Plus in order to use Google Hangouts. And it's the best option, I would say, if you are in the Google ecosystem and you're already using Google Docs and you're using YouTube and you're using a lot of stuff that's owned by Google. It's got lots of really cool extras and it is the only system that lets you watch YouTube together with your student, not as a screen share, but in a way that lets you control whether the video is paused, whether the video is running on, etc. So you can pause it under your control without having to tell your student to pause it, which is really great. Screen sharing and Google Docs are also great. Google Docs, uh, Google Hangouts is not 100% reliable either. None of them are. And it has a more of a learning curve. So you have to work harder to understand how to use Google Hangouts. Finally, there is a third system called FaceTime. FaceTime is a straightforward video chat program. You can use it from mobile devices. It works really great on iPhones, iPads and uh, on the Mac. And it's available from apple.com slash FaceTime. And in fact, if you own any Apple device, an iPhone, an iPad, etc., you've already got it built in. You do need an Apple account and you need something that Apple created, basically. The advantages of FaceTime is that it's really reliable. It's probably the most reliable of the lot. It works really well between Europe and the USA in particular. It is fast. The video quality tends to be really good and it's really easy to use. It's not more complicated than calling somebody on your phone. The downside is that FaceTime is basically a video chat program and that is it. You can't send each other links very quickly, you can't instant message in the system of FaceTime, you can't screen share and you can't share videos. So these are your main three systems, Skype, Google Hangouts and FaceTime. And I advise that you make sure you're at least familiar with two of these, ideally three. <laughs>